If most people were asked where the rarest insect in the world resides, I'd argue that most would imagine a remote jungle, or even a sparsely populated desert. What I doubt many would imagine is a rocky, almost lifeless spire sticking out of the ocean. The Lord Howe's Island stick insect has a fairly literal name. It is a stick insect that's found on Lord Howe Island. Well, it was found on Lord Howe Island. Lord Howe Island. It's a barely populated Australian island that is part of a large chain. The main island itself is densely packed with various flora and fauna, including over 200 different birds, which it's well known for. The Lord Howe Island's stick insect was a noted part of the island's ecosystem up until about 1918 when the SS Macambo, a passenger and sometimes cargo ship, washed ashore near Ned's Beach, which is here. This time around, however, the ship had some unfortunate passengers. Rats. It's always rats. For nine days, the ship sat while awaiting repairs, and for nine days, the rats spilled out onto the island, ready to find other rats in order to have... Rat parties! where they would make more rats. Rats that would go on to eat the stick insects. Which shouldn't be a big deal because, you know, nature heals and ecosystems, and they were deemed extinct within two years. Well, shucks. That would be the unfortunate fate of this insect for the next 44 years. All the way up until 1964, when a team of climbers just happened to be climbing the rocky spire, also known as Ball's Pyramid. What they probably weren't expecting to find were the fresh corpses of some Lord Howe Island stick insects. This discovery excited entomologists and curious locals alike, who realized that this extinct oddity is likely still living on this barren rock 14 miles 24 kilometers, away from its original home on the island. Unfortunately, they found a whole lot of nothing, which prompted them to assume that what they found were probably the last remnants, and if there were any left, they were probably not going to be found. Well, they were right about the first part. In 2001, Australian scientists David Priddle and Nicholas Carlyle reassessed the whole stick insect situation. While somebody like myself may look at this rocky spire and think, there's absolutely no way anything outside of birds could live on this. These two experts saw the geology of the rock and thought, there's probably some bushes. And if there's bushes, there's possibly our insect. They launched their expedition and began going up the pyramid, only finding non-giant insects to start. What they did find was giant insect poop, which gave them hope because, well, look at this thing. While they didn't find anything during the day, they were confident they'd find something at night, because these insects were nocturnal. Upon looking under a tea tree plant, which was correctly growing on the island, they spotted a small population of 24 Lord Howe Island stick insects. In 2003, a breeding pair would be collected off of Ball's Pyramid, with intent to breed up a population in hopes of reintroducing them to their original homes. Since then, tens of thousands of eggs have been hatched with populations being housed in various zoos around the world. While the black rats are still on Lord Howe Island, because they're resilient little things, the Lord Howe Island board is actively exterminating them with the intention of reintroducing their long-lost sentient stick. So you might be asking, what exactly makes this insect so interesting? Why even bother? Well, let me just say, imaginary person, this is no ordinary stick insect. Males and females will on occasion form bonds, which insects typically don't do. To add, they also don't need a male to reproduce, since the females can produce viable eggs themselves, which is called parthenogenesis. This has likely kept their species alive, despite the scarily low numbers they were discovered having. Oh, and it's also a big ass bug. To conclude, it's likely the Lord Howe Island stick insect will no longer be the world's rarest insect. If you're counting captive populations, it already isn't. However, what I love about this insect is its story. By all logic, it should be extinct. But I guess the old saying is true, never doubt the willpower of a stick insect. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.